Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Sparkle Boy Designs. Today we're going to be doing our weekly junk journal with me. Uh, this one is kind of a lengthy one. Um, I would apologize, but I got a lot done in it, so I'm hoping you'll enjoy it. Let's get started. Welcome back to Junk Journal with me, week number, I think, three is where we're at. So I thought we'd just kind of jump on into it today. I do want to go ahead and talk about Saturday the 13th. I don't know if we already covered it, but holidays, the holidays, we've been doing the holidays. I'm mean, going to, how many times I'm going to say holidays, 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 okay. Okay, I'm done. Today is Thomas, or today. The 13th Saturday is Thomas Jefferson's birthday. It is National Scrabble Day. I have not done Saturday yet because I knew we were going to be working in the journal today. Um, but uh, I'm going to be reading a book, so I've got my little book down here. Um, it's National Scrabble Day, so if you are, um, if you have them, I haven't been able to find them yet, but the little Scrabble tiles at Dollar Tree, or if you have an old game that you're pulling tiles out of, you could, you know, spell Saturday or Scrabble or whatever you want to do. So it's also National Make Lunch Count Day this day. It's International Plant Appreciation Day and Nat National Peach Cobbler Day. Okay, so enough about Saturday. Let's move on to Sunday. I've got out some stuff that uh, I think I'd like to use in the next seven days. But let's start off with uh, today's is International Moment of Laughter Day. It is National Ex-Spouse Day, if that is something you're interested in knowing. It's National Gardening Day, which is awesome because I plan to go out and work on my Remembrance Garden. It's National Pan American Day, National Dolphin Day, National Pecan Day. It's a lot of national days. All right, so let's just get started. I already had all this done. Um, I'm not really sure what I wanna do. Let me think a second. Let me just look real quick at what we've already got going on. I need to, I need to glue that puppy down. All right. And we're gonna go through. So we're going to go through here. Got some stuff down there I want to use. Okay. So I really want to use my little ladybug. It's just a wooden piece that I believe came in a set from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure. I think I've had it a year or two. I've got a couple of Dose Go, which is kind of like Uno, but it's the little mini cards um, from Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree also has the Uno, the small Uno cards. I've got some hearts because I love my little sloth boy that's why he's here out of order and a unicorn and a lion these are from a notepad that had all these colors and I just took some real close pictures because I thought they were kind of cool and then I have this which says dear God it says dear God enlighten me Enlighten what's dark in me, strengthen what's weak in me, mend what's broken in me, bind what's bruised in me, heal what's sick in me, and lastly, revive whatever peace and love has died in me. And I printed out small so I can stick it in my junk journal, but it doesn't take up an overwhelming amount of space. Um, I've also got my cute little penguin. Have a great day. I've got my little slowly making it through my to be read pile. Actually, I'm thinking, let me turn off my big light real quick because I feel like it's making everything look worse. Okay, I've got some tulips. These things are from my, um, this one's in paper. These are in sticker form. They're from my Peter Rabbit junk journal stuff, but um, they don't have anything specifically Peter Rabbit, so I thought they were cute. This was... I don't know, packaging, I think. I also have my uh, teaching tree flowers. I've got some other cute little Easter-y things, flowers, that I thought I would maybe use. I've got some tulips because tis the season, and I've got some cute bunnies. 
last but not least, of course, I have uh, some of the, well, I've got um, some Baker's Twine if I need it. And then I've got some of those old cards uh, that I was given that I thought some of them looked kind of springy. I thought they were really cute. So I thought we might use them today. All right, so with all of that being said, let's figure this puppy out. I've got a huge horsefly in here and I don't think I have a fly swatter. But anyway, I don't wanna break a window with anything wood, so we'll just move on. All right, so with this one, I definitely need to add something that I can ride on because I don't have anything yet. So I think, let me grab my stuff. I think, honestly, I think one of my plans was to put this in here and I think I still wanna do that. And I think I'm going to use a hole punch uh, let me grab it. Be ready for anything, but don't ever have anything out. Let's see. a little bit of space and then we've got lots of green and blue going on so I'm gonna probably take the green because I think the blue is too blue and then I'm just gonna terribly tight but tight enough and then we're gonna get what kind of glue do I want to glue it on with do I want to do just a little bit of hot glue maybe oh I've got an idea hold on let me think a minute looking yes I don't know if hot glue will hold it though so I think I think what we'll do is I'm gonna hot glue it, but just let me show you. Most of the time, I have to go back and re-glue them. Hopefully that's not still too hot. No, it's not. Okay, let me grab the glue from around it. Most of the time these will pop off when they chill down or something. And so if that happens, then I will go back and I'll use some of my tacky glue, Eileen's tacky glue or some of my Fabri-Tac or something like that. All right, so without pulling it very tightly, we're just gonna, oh, well, we might. There we go. And then I've still got a pretty good length here I can work with. Okay. Now I guess we better leave it. Would have liked to have cleaned that up a little bit, but I don't want to mess it up. But anyway, so now I can turn this over. I can write about my day on here. And also, I think I want to put... I also pulled out of there... I thought these are cute. Um, I don't know that I'll use this one, but the bubble tea, I definitely want to use the packaging for. So I brought both of those out. We'll see what we do with those. Okay, let's use, I think I really want to add, I think I want to add that. And then I think I want to add those. I think I want to add those. Let's see. I don't know why that was 
was put in the way it was. But we'll go ahead and just kind of stick with it. And I'm gonna make sure I don't rip. And I'm gonna tell you, the ripping thing is really not my thing. It usually kind of sort of bothers me a little bit. But I think this is super cute. We're just gonna use some of my barely, I gotta clean my craft desk off. It's uh, starting to overwhelm me a little bit. All right, so we're gonna use this. And I am loving this precision. I, it's one of the best craft purchases I've made. I mean, I'm just saying. It doesn't take a whole lot. And you can just put it down. I can use this when I'm sitting at my desk. Glue a little here and a little there. Let's see if I can. Okay. that up. All right. I'm not sure that I got the... Well, it seems to have done a pretty good job. Okay. Looking up, looking up, you guys. All right. Oh, I gotta glue this one too, don't I? Just something visually pretty to add to the page. This will be too much, so we're gonna lay it aside. Throw away my little scraps. All right, so there we go. I've got something to write with. We're gonna move on to the next day. I will come in, I have not printed anything yet, which annoys me because I wanted to have it ready, but I will come in and add some stuff to this week. So I will come back and do, I didn't do last week's, um, show you what I changed because I didn't change anything. The only thing I did is on National Siblings Day, I added um, with the outline marker, which if you guys haven't seen these, these are fabulous. And let me just, just show you, uh-oh, hold on. I hadn't written with it in a while. I have to kind of prime it. This one's not working right, hold on. There we go. It just took it a minute to, to prime it and get ready. But yeah, it does an outline of the color and then fills it with silver, it's really cool love those remember them from my childhood all right so moving on to monday here's what we've got so far for monday i didn't do a very good job i don't i think i used regular glue like the glue stick and i guess the glue stick that i'm using right now is not it's not it's not doing its job hopefully you don't see the big horse fly flying around was it this one yeah Horse fly flying around because yuck. Okay, hopefully that's enough. I don't want to lose my pin. Oh, good grief, I can't hit the hole. All right, there we go. All right, so for Monday the 15th, it is Patriots Day. It's the day that was the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. It's National Laundry Day. 
World Art Day and Jackie Robinson Day. All right, so if any of those days appeal to you, just find you some, find you some pictures, print them on your printer and make a sticker out of them or you know, if you're a good art person, which I am not, then just draw something that symbolizes it or write it or however you want to do it. Okay, so for this page, I've kind of got it already pretty full. I do think, I'm getting ready to throw stuff everywhere. I do think they, he needs a couple of little bunny bunnies. Oh, it says it's somebody's birthday. Well, that's cute. All right, so let's do... Let's do this cutie patootie that's sitting on a little mushroom. And I'm gonna put her right here. Okay, these are Imagine That by Lori. She's an Etsy shop that I bought some, um, hold on, I can show you. I bought some calendar stickers, not, well, I mean, days of the week. Well, that's not right either, numbers. Hold on, I don't see them, but I know they're over here. Oh, there's more seeds. Oh, that's good. Let's use those. Um, is this one of them? All right, let me just grab the whole pile. You guys don't have all day for this. Yeah, there they are. There's one. It's a gumball. And actually, I need to use them because they don't have actual numbers on them now. But this was, they were gumballs. Those were... A little mouse and cookies and then see this one has a 31 on it because um, I didn't have 31 days for the one that I used they are adorable they were a little smaller than I thought they were gonna be but that's kind of the story of my life I'm sure that it said in there exactly how big they were and it didn't change the fact that they were absolutely adorable I think she's got some pink one ones I need to get I should keep these out but anyway but yes, she gave me that other one with the bunnies as a little freebie, so that was really sweet. Okay, ramble, ramble. All right, so let's go ahead and put down, let's put down, a tulip, and then got writing spaces already. I can add to it for the day. We'll move on to the 16th because I don't want to add too much. And then the 16th is World Voice Day, Administrative Professionals Day, World Hemophilia Day, International Bat Appreciation Day, Blah 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 Day. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I went from the 16th, I just kept reading. So the 16th is Emancipation Day and World Voice Day. That's for the, for the 16th. The others are for the next day. I just got all excited and just kept going. This page, I think, is pretty much finished already and I do apologize for that. Um, once we get further into them, they shouldn't be so finished, but we're gonna go ahead and move on with this one. All right, so the 17th, which is the one I was reading for, is Administrative Professionals Day. This is Wednesday. Uh, World Hemophilia Day, International Bat Appreciation Day, Blah 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 Day, and National Cheese Ball Day. So if any of those things appeal to you, then you have something to work with. I found these when I was looking at those stickers. Um, these I'll probably actually make. These I might too, but these are great to use in your junk journal. In fact, I'm thinking I might use this one on here. I either want to use it or I want to use the sunflowers. Where did those go? Just had you. There you are. Oh, the sunflowers is huge. Yeah, that one's a little too big. I think I want to use this. I think I want to use this. So let me look at this. Okay, it says I can plant these anytime. All right, let's cut these open and then I'll. Do I have something to put them in? Let's see.
uh, good thing about this is this could be how oh, these are tiny they're tiny and they don't want to they don't want to leave their little spot but anyway I was saying the good thing about this is is if you just cut a little bit at the top if you don't care about the back you could do it two ways you could set it down here and then and you got you a little pocket you can use or you could even put it in you know this way or this way as an insert and then you could still use it as a pocket but you could see both sides so I don't really care I don't really care about seeing the other side I think I think I'm gonna go in the corner well let's see I don't really want to I may just well what do I want to do No, let me look at the other days and just see. Nope, okay, it's this day. This is why I should have probably waited. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna glue it like this. Maybe right here at the edge. And then that way I can still, I mean, am I gonna miss? I'm not gonna be missing that much. Okay, we're just gonna glue it down then. What am I gonna glue it with, let me think. I think I'm gonna glue it with my Eileen's. I'm not gonna glue it all the way at the top. I'm just gonna glue it across most of it. I don't wanna go too high on the top because I don't want to have no leeway when I try to open it. And hello. Uh -oh. Something in the corner there. Let's grab that. We're gonna just do that. All right, I'm gonna close this book and let it kind of dry for a minute and then we'll come back. Okay. Okay, so here we are, we're back. It looks like it's down a little bit, so hopefully it'll finish drying. Okay, so we're gonna move on from the 17th to the 18th, which is Thursday. This is International Day for Monuments and Sites, so if you're out vacationing and seeing anything really amazing, make sure you snap those moments. It is Tax Day, which is lame for a Saturday. It is National High Five Day, so high five to y'all. And then it is National Haiku Poetry Day, which I totally am gonna to find a poem, and we'll have to do that before we get off here. National Lineman Appreciation Day, National Columnists Day, World Amateur Radio Day, and that was a whole bunch, so let's do that. Let's, let me look real quick for a haiku and we'll be right back. Okay, here's one, it is very long. So I don't know how much, if I'll use all of it, or maybe I'll, I don't know. But it's called Spring Has Sprung, and it's by Patricia A. Fleming. It says, there is nothing that can quite compare to the fragrance of the fresh spring air, floating on the softest breeze, stirring the world from its frozen sleep. The merry twittering early birds now usher in the dawn, filling the quiescent, Mm, I'll have to look that word up, silence, with a panoply of song. The sun's an early riser, her brilliance cannot be ignored. She demands complete attention from the still lethargic world. The naked, drooping, sullen trees and the brown and barren earth begin to show those subtle signs of their glorious rebirth. The greenest green of grassy lawns begin to sprout and grow, creating deep, plush emerald quilts replacing mounds of crystalline snow. Neatly, tend, neatly tended flower beds filled with splashy bursting buds lift their heads as they proudly swoon beneath the dazzling sun. The deeply limp, I'm sorry, the deeply limpid azure sky can fill with clouds of gray and the smiling sun may suddenly cry revealing the moons of a lush spring day. Moods. Almost done. Skeletal trees, once standing exposed, now bedecked in verdant leaves. 
danced proudly and unabashedly in the hushed and warm spring breeze. The deadly winter quiet and that sense of desolation is now broken by the sounds of life and the world's excite. Good Lord, the world's uh oh, the world's excited jubilation. Spring has sprung and hope renewed as people open up their doors. Those gloomy days, that frigid air won't stop them anymore. Every season has its beauty. Nature's glory cannot be denied, but strolling through a blossoming park is much better than slumbering inside. And I am thinking it'll take me a little bit to do. But I am thinking. always thinking which is a thing I may just do an insert and put the haiku on here so let me do that and I'll be right back with you okay so I'm back I wrote I wrote the haiku and I I'm gonna tell you I don't know if this fully fills the haiku it's where I found it I probably need to look up haiku and put it on there I also added um, this little sticker and I'm gonna show you in just a minute but it took the front and back of that entire page and I didn't get the last line on there. So I decided that I would write it on here. And I'm not filling it, it's not, you know, they're supposed to like each be on their own line, but um, that didn't quite work out. And that took me quite a bit to get that all written out. And you know, I had somebody tell me the other day, and I would love to know down below in the comments. Um, I had somebody tell me that they do not teach, and of course all my kids are grown, but they, hold on, let me make sure I do this the right way. Okay, it needs to go this way. That they do not teach Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold, please. We're not going to do that with hot glue. What am I thinking? It's going to hurt. Hot. Not too bad. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Okay, I'm going to have to put some glue on that. That they don't teach handwriting anymore in school. So, we're just teaching the kids that technology is just the way to go. Well, what happens if that technology is not here for us at some point in time in our life? I mean, probably not in my life, but... I can't, I can't imagine kids not knowing how to, you know, write correctly. I mean, I hated cursive writing, hated it, hated it, but I'm thankful for it now that I'm older. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna hold this for a second, which is what I normally do. I don't, it probably doesn't have to be done, but I just do it so that I kinda can set things up in it the way I want it and it dries and then it's not sticking to other things which you know it might because you know how it goes but like this glue i mean it's fantastic it's already dry it's already dried enough that you can't pull it out but i do want to do this also i tried to pull that hot glue and then uh, i ripped my little wildflower my little daisy thing just a little bit so i'm gonna back I'll hold that there but anyway I mean do we teach our kids we don't teach our kids how to count back change anymore like there are so many things that I just don't understand I don't understand I just don't understand it you guys I know we live in a, in a land of technology and I don't know maybe it's like saying oh you know why don't we still teach our kids how to make fire I don't know but I just think that there are some things because for instance, like the change thing, you go and I had a kid that um, I was gonna give them the exact change, but with like a 20, but with the exact coins. And he had already put in that 20. And when I gave him the change, I mean, it just, it messed up his whole day because he didn't know how to count it back. That's just crazy, you guys, it's just crazy. Okay, moving along. I can't believe I messed that up. Well, I mean, I can, because it's me. All right, so we're just gonna, you know, I've got just a little bit. I mean, the pocket is gonna be easier if I tip it to the side. When it's down like this, I don't have a lot of room, but I can tip it to the side if I wanna put something in it. I don't right now. I may not, but there it is. 
So here is our haiku poem, which I probably need to, let's look up that. What are the rules for a haiku poem? Question mark. All right. So the rules are it has three lines, which these, none of these have three lines. So this is obviously not a haiku. Hello, Google, you're a liar. But I'm gonna keep this in here because it's a spring poem. But it has three lines. It has five syllables in the first and third lines. It has seven syllables in the second line. Its lines do not rhyme. It includes a K-I-R-E-J-I. -I. I have never heard that. It says, or a cutting word. It includes a K-I-G-O, which is a seasonal reference. Interesting. And then there's one that says, what are the three rules? So see those last several rules were just, I don't know, extra fodder. Okay, so this is not a haiku, it was a lie. I'll probably journal about that in here, about how I went to all this trouble. And you know, honestly, when I was writing it, I was thinking, okay, I don't remember them being so extravagant, but I thought, well, you know, maybe. But yeah, um, I don't know this, but anyway. It's a great poem anyway. So thank you to Patricia A. Fleming. Uh, very good poem, even though it's not a haiku and it came up as a haiku. Moving along. All right, so we're looking, we're still working, looking at the 18th. Um, I don't really have anything else that's specific to this. So let me just look through. Oops, I dropped my pen. It probably said hello. Liars, liars did haikus, and they're not. So, yeah. All right, I think I want to put a couple more flowers on here. And yeah, I probably should have cut around the little dots, but I kind of liked them, and I didn't want to cut around them. So, oh, anyway, I, I can't remember if I already said, but I had to write that last line down there. And then I just cut off the very end because it was a little bit too long. And I think, um, I hate to do the hot glue thing, but I'm going to just probably do just a little... Just a little. Come on, glue. Be nice. I know you're a hater. And I'm gonna tell you, I see people do crafts with hot with hot glue all the time. And my hot glue, I've got Gorilla hot glue now, but I have never, ever, ever have I ever been able to get my hot glue to perform in the manner that I see it on these on these YouTube videos. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't like this. This one's already dry. It didn't, it didn't even work, so I'm not sure why that is. Let's see. So I don't know why I bothered, you know, because it's already coming up. I'll have to go back and fix that. We'll do it later. All right, so we'll do it on this one. I just didn't want to, you know, do it. But I knew this glue, this glue is amazing, so I don't know why. I don't know why I hesitated, because you know it's going to be good. I can put the needle back in the glue, and then I can still flip my flower over. Did I not put any glue on that one? Apparently I did not. flower I'll have to go back and fix. All right, so I am, am I done? I don't know, let's do a couple more of these little flowers because they're super cute. Let's put them, let's put them down here. Just a cute little, a cute little extra. Uh-oh, that one stuck to my finger. And then let's go ahead and put a bunny down there too, just because it's too cute. All right. And anything else we want to stick? Just looking through my stuff real quick, you guys. Too many flowers. I think, I think maybe 
I'm gonna do that. Okay, I think that's all that needs. That's one of those old cards that I've got extra cutouts for. It didn't, it wasn't attached to any specific card, so. All right, so let's move on to the 19th. The 19th, which is a Friday. There are no holidays at all listed for Friday the 19th. So, in, with that being said, we're going to work on 19th and 20th since I've kind of got a blank slate. So, let me just go ahead and tell you the 20th is National Lookalike Day. It is Husband Appreciation Day and Chinese Language Day. And that's the only three that I have for that. So, with that being said, let's move on. I think... I definitely want to use this and I definitely want to use this. This would be good, but it's kind of the wrong color. And even looking in the camera, it's really just the wrong color. I just printed, I started printing and then I thought, oh my gosh, why didn't you print the pages you know you absolutely need? And then, I don't, know, I don't know what the answer to that is. Um, I don't think those are gonna work. All right, let me look. So I did just print some stuff. Let me see. These are summary, summary, patriotic -y. summary. These stickers are all kind of a little bit spaced out. Like I would rather use my sticker paper for things that are taking up more space, but they were too cute to not print. Um, these are Rebecca Hoot ones. Love her. Love her freebies that she puts out. Um, well, I just have to cut all this out because I am not finding, I'm not finding what I'm looking for. Take a look. Let me lay these to the side. These are out of my um, Wizard of Oz junk journal kit. Um, I've never printed these before. So let me just take a look. Let me, this one I'm gonna have to put away. That one's just not the right color. Gold Brick Road might work. I think that's the only one that might work. So let's grab the scissors. And we may or may not use it, but let's, let's cut it apart. And we'll throw it down and then let's take a look. I do have these. Not opposed to this. Not opposed to those. I'm not opposed to that one because it's kind of more pink. Let's choose from these. So first things first, let's pull the black and whites out. Let's see. I don't think that's the right color. And then this one's purple, but I'm not opposed to that one. 
think that would be better than the blue. There's a pink one. Actually, there we go. That one might be better. All right. Whittle down, whittle down, whittle down. All right, let's see. No, I like these, but they're, they're more blue than what I want to put on the sheet, so. And I don't think I want to go black and white, so I think that narrows it down. I think ding, ding, ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, is that what they say? Or is that just a Southern slang? All right, so I want to do a couple things real quick. I'm going to, where'd my scissors go? I'm going to cut this one down. And sometimes I do put it in the middle like this, but with this one, and if you can see, it has tiny little X's in the middle that look like binding. But I don't want, I don't want to do that. And then let's just, okay. Top off, it's white. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take this. I happen to have my paper cutter here. It's not a very good one, and I really need to get me a new one. Right there. I'm just going to take that tiny little edge off. And then I'm going to take this and put it down on here just so it's kind of got a frame. And I did that wrong. I shouldn't have done it like this. That's okay. Never do it like this. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nope. 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 Not yet. We're going to do the bottom first. We're going to go right there. And then there we go. All right. A little bit bigger over here but I'm gonna deal with it that way I'm going to glue this down like this I think I think that's what I want to do and then on this side let me grab my fussy cutters are these my silver ones we'll try those these are my silver ones I know I've talked about it but you can see this this they're completely closed they should be completely closed when you do it so I can't cut with them I don't use them very often they were they were to me and I've got the other pair I use they're fabulous they're just like these but they're they've got different colors on them and as long as I don't try to cut it like close the teeth completely I'm fine but let's fussy cut this and I'll be right back it's not a perfect cut but it'll work all right, so I think on this side, I'm gonna do this. In fact, I know I am, that's, that's what I want. So let me see here, we're gonna edge it up here at the top. And then I'll just, there we go, that one's on. And then also, I'll need more than just that. Wait, what day of the week is this? I might not. Oh. The 19th is on a Friday. So, let me think a minute. Do, 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 do. No, that's not what I want to do. I really want to do this. Let me just glue it down before I change my mind. Down. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go a couple pages back and give it just a second. I kind of want to put some pink down. I don't know if it's too much. Is there such a thing as too much? I don't know. Actually, I think I've got some already cut. So let's just go ahead and use it. Let me roll this back up. I forgot I had it and then I saw it sticking out the bottom. So I'm like, oh yeah, or I guess that's the top, not the bottom. Oh yeah. Well, hello there. All right, I'll put you back in there. I'm gonna put it over here on this side. All right, liking that. And then, oh, I didn't use this, so see? See, here we go, I'll use this. And I think on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some, some double-sided sticky tape so that we don't have to, of course, by the time I find, there it is, by the time I get it all cut, I probably could have already glued it and put it down. All right, let's grab. Let's grab it. I'm just sticking it on here. And then I'm gonna put just a smidgy smidge at the top here. And a smidgy smidge at the bottom. Okay, all right, so got that ready. I'm just gonna peel it off. All right, and that should give me more than enough. And then next week, I think we're probably gonna have to do a recap for this week because, let me see, do I wanna put it right in the middle? Yeah, I think so. Because, 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 because. All right, um, um, I'm probably gonna add more stickers and things uh, once I get them printed and once I go hunting. And then next week, I will try to be better prepared uh, for that. All right. So this was Saturday. So this is this coming week this is the end of the week. Let's just go back and recap it real quick. Here is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with our not a haiku poem, but a spring poem. Friday, Saturday. Y'all go out and spread God's love and have an absolutely terrific day. See you soon.